the uh, on the surface of that, that was a very beautiful little choral masterpiece by 20th century composer Randall Thompson. Hallelujah. That's about five minutes. It's done by almost every college choir, church choir uh, in many continents, including here. But below that, it's a number of other things. What you hear is a conglomeration of narratives, a compilation of voices. Let me ask you, how many people heard one voice in this? It's all right, you can raise your hands if you heard a voice. Surely you heard one at least. I mean, there were lots of people here. How many of you heard two voices, two different tunes? How many heard three? We have serious harmonic ears. How many heard four? It's hard to hear, but take a listen. We're going to open this up and see what exactly is going on under the surface. Hey, do you remember the, do you have your note in the beginning? Yes? Basses only. This is the bottom voice, the basses. Thank you. Now we're going to add one more voice. The tenors will sing a little bit higher. What you just saw and were privy to 
was in fact a kind of team enterprise, a, time, a kind of societal process where each of these parts had to sing. When they came together, they had to sing in such a way that they had to listen to the other voice, first one, then two, then three, as if it were more important than their own. Now the only place where you're going to be able to do that is when you have the security of your own one, which is why we went through each and each voice established for you that they are very comfortable singing their own part. And from that place comes a space, comes a meditative presence. Now this whole section lasted about 30 seconds, where they were able to hear and listen without commentary to the other part and allow for interaction in that space, listening and living into the reality created by the narrative of the other. In Africa they have a word for this in Swahili, it's called Ubuntu. And you've heard of that as an operating system and there are NGOs and so forth. But Ubuntu is this idea of interconnectedness, of interdependence. And what they just did, what we all just did, and by the way, what you just did, because you, by listening as intently, uh, for a moment I felt the biryani fading and the attention rising. And that is at the heart of Ubuntu, which literally means, word for word, I am because you are. I exist because you are. The music exists in this case because the sopranos were willing to acknowledge that the altos were more, were as important, if not more important, than they were for the future of the music. Now, so it's team and teams of teams. And what happens when you get teams of teams working together? Now, every entrepreneur here, Ashwin, in the past and in the future, um, and all the rest of us who worked in technology and in entrepreneurship and companies know that this is important. But what about society? What about the Lok Sabha? What about the other parts of our life? And what happens when teams of teams and, and communities of communities come together and start filling the space? But this is what might happen. Let's go from the beginning. <clears throat> Tennis, at the bottom of the first page, they have, you, they have all these little notes. The word hallelujah, which is actually a non-sectarian note, and we think, uh, word, we think of it as being Christian, but it's not really. It is really um, a Hebrew word, which means praise God, but only the first syllable of the name of God is invoked because it's too, it's too holy to speak. So the Yah of Yahweh is there, but we don't really say that. And those people are testifying that it's an ecstatic experience, which is why they're there. So, that means gentlemen too. You, each one of you, 
is now holding the safety and welfare of these eight ladies, in seven of them, in your hands. <coughs> All right. Remember the notes? You have the notes? Three? for me. Feel it inside yourselves. into this process of owning shares, as it were, in the enterprise. Altos, would you also turn back? Spread out a little bit. Spread out a little bit so you have room. Now, gentlemen, basses, tenors, you are completely responsible for their well-being, which means that you have to, you can't sit at the back of be a backbencher and mutter under your breath when, you know, the Prime Minister is speaking or whatever, you have to now take charge. And you are responsible for communicating this information. Yeah? Let's get let's get a fresh pitch. Very good. Very good. From the top. Okay, here we go. Something very interesting. The ladies just discovered that they can't see me to breathe. <laughs> so, what that means is they're going to be late when the music starts. Now, what that also means is the people who are responsible for the narrative of the other, now, in addition to listening to a voice that's different from theirs, they're going to have to support a voice that is different from theirs. Let's know what it means in our society to support a voice that we don't agree with. That is not saying your vision of the world. And see what comes out of it. No? Guess what? It didn't happen. You have to be able to breathe on three so that they know where one is. You're breathing on four or after four. And the ladies are saying, are you? Huh? You can't. You can't have that. And they only have one moment. They only have the moment of the beginning to do this. If you let them go, they will go off the cliff. Imagine that you're in a car and you have all these beautiful people in it. Don't take your wheel, don't take your eyes off the road. So make sure you include them. Red, red. Watch them for your breath. Read. <laughs> Listen to each other. Listen to Prakash. Crescendo. Together, there is a shared future that we can enlighten together. 
Now we'll do one more thing, and that is the business of leadership. What happens when we share leadership? This was only there's still, you know, one animal standing in front, waving his hands, and all the other animals are picking up. What happens when we pass that? So let's try this, and I will eventually go over it. Now I really need you to get close to each other. So really, each of you pick two people that you're going to look at. Each of you. Can be the same two. Alright? There we go. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Look at the people in front of you. Right? And breathe. Let's breathe together. Breathe. Thank you. 